Hey Primary 5 Math Prodigies, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of Math Mastery. So, I hope you enjoyed our time together on Saturday. We had a really good time with all those quizzes. We did very, very well. A big, a big, big, big high five to Aisha. You are a Math Prodigy for doing awesomely well and scoring everything perfectly. You should be scoring your A's in Math. No time, alright? So, let's look at the question on Friday that I gave you. Yeah, so you have a one week break, uh, no, two days break. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the question right now. I'm going to solve it as quickly as we can, okay? So, question was, Susan had twice as many white beads as black beads. After using 40 white beads and 5 black beads to make a bracelet, she had thrice as many black beads as white beads left. How many black beads did she have at first? Now, don't get so scared. It looks scary, but all you have to do, remember, is step one is to breathe. So breathe, take a deep breath, and blow it out. Now look at one question, look at one line after the other. So she said, first step was, Susan had twice as many white beads as black beads. So let's just write this with, um, before and after. So before, Susan actually had how many? Twice as many white beads as black beads. So she had white beads and she had black beads. And she had two times as many white. So you draw two models here, two, two parts here. And you draw one part here, correct? Correct. Now the question says, after using 40 white beads and 5 black beads to make a bracelet, she had thrice as many black beads as white left. So after, what happens? After, very weirdly, what happens was, the, the ratio went from... 2 is to 1, 2 how many? 1 is to 3. So after what happened was it became 1 piece here and it became 3 pieces here. Okay, so the question is how many black beads did she have at first? Ah, how many black beads did she have at first? So let's take a look at this very important information in 40 white beads that she used and she used 5 black beads to make a bracelet. How do we plug it in into this drawing? Mm. So first step, let's understand that um, what happened was, uh, what's her name? Susan. Susan used 40 white beads and suddenly she had one unit left. And after she used five black beads to make a bracelet, she had thrice as many black beads as white beads left. So let's try something which is very interesting. Since the number of black beads did not change much and it only changed by five, so as you can see here, here's five. Let's put this part, this five, into here. So before, she had actually an extra 5, am I right? She had an extra 5 here, correct? Yes. And this whole thing here, let me just show you this very, very neatly so that you can actually see it. Uh, I'm going to use a black marker. Look at this. Eh? This part of it, this whole thing, is actually the same as this whole thing. So now, all we have to do is make the white one below here look the same as the white one on top. So how do we do that? Ah, now I think you're getting the point here, right? So if you were to put this into here, what it will look like is something like this. Let me show you, okay? So it will be 1, 2, 3. Is it the same now? It's the same, right? As you can see from here, it's exactly the same. So we have 1, 2, 3 units. Do we have 1, 2, 3 units? One, two, three units here? Yes, we do. We have one, two, three units on top. And we have an extra five here. We have an extra five here. Good job. So this is a good one, all right? Now, all we have to do is make the one on top look exactly the same like the one below in terms of this. In other words, I'm trying to say is I want to know how many exactly are there, uh, units are there in white beads. So we just draw the same thing here on top. So we draw one unit, two units, three units. And then remember, there's a five here because it's the same as this. And the same thing be look, uh, happens below. So 1, 2, and 3. And we have another 5 here. Correct? Yes, let me just draw it in red so that you can actually see. Okay, so it's 5 here. And 5 here. Why? Because this one unit, this whole thing, is actually the same as this whole thing and this whole thing. Okay? So let's count how many units there are. There are 1 unit, 2 units, 3 units, 4 units, 5 units, six units and we have an extra 10. So what we do is we just write simply six units, okay? Okay, so 
what we have here is 6 units, right, plus 10. Okay? Then remember that this one part, this whole thing here, let me just use different colors so that you get very clear on this. This whole thing here, these white beads here, and this one portion here is still the same. It's the same, so it's still there. So 40 units actually equals to what? For, sorry, what 40 white beads actually equals to this whole portion over here. Can you see? And hence, 6 units plus 10 units minus 1 unit because we still have the 1 unit over here. So minus 1 unit equals to what? 40. That's right. Equals to 40. Okay. In other words, 6, six units minus 1 unit, we have how many left? We have 5 units plus 10. Oops. Equals to 40. So how do we find 5 units? 5 units equals to 40 minus 10. Correct. Equals to 30. 1 unit equals to what? Correct. 30 divided by 5 equals to 6. Now, how we do this is, all we have to find out is how many black beads did she have at first. So we have 1 unit here, 2 units here, 3 units here, plus an extra 5. So that equals to 3 times 6. Okay, uh, I can do no place to write here, but let's gonna write on top here. Okay, um, 3 times 6 equals 18. And 18 plus another 5. Okay, next step here. 18 plus 5 will give you what? 23. And that is the answer for this question. If you got it right, I'm going to give you a big, big, big high five. High five. You are a math prodigy. Good job. Okay? So, that is how you do the question. Now, if you don't know how to do it, please rewind. I know this might get a little confusing. And if you do still don't know, ask me when I meet you on Saturday. Okay? Sure? Okay. So, the next question for the day is, Mr. Teo had, and Mr. Teo filled two seven of a tank with water. If he pours in another 8 and 1 quarter liters of water, the tank becomes half full. So how much water can the tank hold when it is completely full? Ah, this is a question about fractions. I want to test your fractions right now. Okay, so remember the quote of the week. In order for you to do these questions, the quote of the week is very important. It says, line by line, the answer is mine. Repeat after me. I know you want to. Line by line, the answer is mine. Line by line, the answer is mine. What does that mean? It means when you get a question like that looks a bit like this, um, all you have to do is read it line by line. So the first step is, Mr. Teo filled two seven of a tank with water. Then stop reading it. So imagine Mr. Teo filling two seven of a tank with water. Got it? Next line, if he pours in another 8 and 1 quarter liters of water. So imagine he takes 8 liters and 1 quarter of water and he pours it into the tank. Got it? Stop. Next one, the tank becomes half full. Okay, now imagine the tank becoming half full. Now, next one, how much water can the tank hold when it is completely full? So the answer, so the, like I said, line by line, the answer is mine. It works. The quote of the week is the line by line, the answer is mine. Use it for your question. I'm going to give you a big high five. High five. You are a math prodigy. Good job.